All right, Dominic, thank you. Let's talk to Emma Runswick, who's joined me. Hello, Emma. Uh, you are a second year medical student, but you're also part of the campaigning group Save Our NHS. Uh, what specifically needs saving? What is not working as well as it should, in your opinion? Okay, so we campaign against cuts, closures and privatisation in the NHS. Um, but there are a whole loads of issues that, that come under the NHS apart from that. Uh, including the integration of, of health and social care. Um, as uh, your, your correspondent said, um, the problem with older people and, and complex conditions. Um, and we want a publicly provided NHS, which has good terms and conditions for staff and great quality care for patients. I mean, it's interesting that you talked about, for example, the integration of health care and social care, because we are here in Manchester, an area where there has been huge change politically in the last few years with devolution. That is only going to increase. And uh, from next year, really, there is meant to be greater devolution. And all the politicians we talk to say that absolutely will allow precisely what you're talking about. I mean, do you have confidence that the changes in the Greater Manchester area actually will help in, in, with some of the concerns you have? Not at all. Um, absolutely not. The, um, the devolution deal is based on the implementation of the five-year forward review, or five-year forward view, which was Simon Stevens released last year, um, which although it has some great things in it, also has the implementation of new care models, um, American-style system of new care models, and also an attack on the terms and conditions of staff, including uh, removal or, or, or attacks on, uh, on social hours payments. Um, and, and I expect that we'll see closures of district general hospitals, more closures to A&Es, um, attacks on, on, on staff. Um, and, so so and you mean that the, the, the joined up thinking that is being promised by it, you think, are you saying that simply can't happen because the, because the money isn't there? There's certainly a problem with money. Um, but there's also a problem with, with staffing, um, and there's also a problem with the, the ideas that go underneath this, which are about privatisation. With the Health and Social Care Act that came in a couple of years ago, we have a new system where GPs are commissioning care, or, or GPs and their, their consultation groups are commissioning care. Um, and, and more and more um, services are, are going out to, to private companies to provide. Um, and that will continue under devolution, um, which is, is wasteful of money, but also bad for staff and bad for patients. Um, so right. even though devolution promises integration, I expect we'll see further fragmentation of care. Emma Runswick, thank you very much indeed, a medical student here in Manchester. Thank you very much. And we will have more from Manchester Royal Infirmary over the course of the day. For now, Joanna, back to you. See you later. Thanks very much, Jane.